want to look at in our phase attack, we want our wingers to get off their wing and be involved more. And see, so there's a rule uh, we're going to incorporate. So let's say we've got the ball in a wide ruck here and we've got our winger 14 in that ruck. So if we carry, let's say we carried um, a yellow. Uh, nine goes there, everyone pushes a little bit. These people reload. What I'm wanting, the rule is, because 14 or the wing was involved in a ruck, they now, if, if there's no option here, they now have to get to the middle of the field and be involved in the game before they can go back to their wing. So at the moment, the ball's in a yellow ruck. We've got 9, 10, our white pod, 12, 13. 14 could just come and sit in behind, inside 10 if they can get there. Or while this is all happening, they can just work their way around because we might go 10 and carry white. So now, perfect opportunity for 14 to continue to go and now be potentially involved in this attack. Whether they're an inside option just to hold up defenders or whether they, there might be, say, a decoy run and they might become involved in the attack here as 12s become a decoy runner to hold up some defenders. So that's one option. The other option, I suppose, is if we go from that wide ruck again, 10 and behind, 12 and behind, 13, 6. So we might go 9, 10 to a white pod carry. The white pod carry, everyone reloads. Fourteen looks to come across. We haven't gone wide. We're going to go same way. Looks to get across. Looks to work really hard uh, to get involved in the play from this midfield ruck. Whether it could simply be they might not actually get involved. They might not be part of the play because they couldn't get there in time. But they've got to the midfield. Now they can go back to their win. Or... It could be a case of 9, 10 and 12 actually carry. They need someone else to clean, so 14 could be the cleaner. Or 10 and 12 carry. 14 now might be able to get in and be first receiver. We can still attack same way with the two wingers down this channel. Once you've been involved, you can rush during the rucks and get back to your win. So the rule is you follow the ball, you've got to get to the middle of the field and be involved before you can go back to your wing.